Hey everybody, welcome to another session of Word of Encouragement. We're spending several of our Word of Encouragement sessions talking about elders, talking about shepherds, because we mentioned last week the Belton Church is about to go through another elder process. We do that every four years. So to help you consider men that you want to put forth to the congregation, I'm answering some questions. So thoughts about elders? Here's some questions today. Why does the church have elders, leaders, shepherds? Well, Paul told Titus, The reason I left you in Crete was that you might straighten out what was left unfinished and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. Almost every society has elders or leaders of some kind. Call them tribal chieftains. Call them village headmen. Call them clan leaders. Call them family patriarchs. Call them what you want, but most every social unit across history and around the globe has always had some type of wisdom figures. How many elders does the church need? Well, there's really no magic number. The Bible doesn't say it needs to be X number. What's important is, are the people in your flock, are the people in your church being shepherded? Now, in other words, as long as people are in some type of small group or some type of class and being held accountable to the members of the group, they are being shepherded. So you don't need an elder for every person. Obviously, we couldn't do that. The better question is, are your people being shepherded? Who should you select as an elder? Well, as you look around and consider men that you want to serve as elders, as shepherds, think about some of these questions. What men do you want to lead us in the direction God wants us to go? What men have the gift of leadership? What men would you go to if you were having spiritual problems? Problems with your marriage, problems with your children, problems overcoming temptation. What men do you want to have responsible for your souls? What men will help maintain the unity of this church? What men are spiritually mature and deep in their faith? Who would you call to help you understand a passage of Scripture? Who would you call to invite Who would you call to invite to um, come and pray over you? What men encourage you in your walk with God? Who in our church has a good reputation in the church and in the community? What men are you ready to follow? Now, think about this. Not everyone is called to be a shepherd, and that's okay. Not everyone is gifted to be a shepherd, and that's okay. There's nothing against you as a person if you're not called and you don't feel like you're gifted. That's everything against you as a shepherd because you are not called or gifted. So not everyone needs to be a shepherd. So here's what you need to be doing. You need to be praying. You need to be praying for our elder process. You need to be praying that God will raise up men to serve. You need to be praying that God will show you who to consider as an elder. You need to be considering the man or the men you want to serve. Go through the church directory. Consider the men that you know. Pray over the men that you're considering. One of the most important responsibilities of the local church is to select men as their spiritual leaders. This is not about church politics. This is not about popularity. This is about raising up men that God is going to put before us to serve as our shepherds. Just another session. Thoughts about elders. I hope you have a great week.